Good afternoon, you guys. Um, so today I want to tell you guys about a dream that I had today. So this dream was, it was talking. Okay, so this dream, I had this dream today, and um, I would title it, I would title it, the difference between a man and a woman, because in the dream I was um, in a classroom, and there were students with me. I don't think I was a teacher. I think we were doing some type of presentation, but I'm not too sure what it was. But um, I remember that I was speaking to my classmates about the difference between a man and a woman. Because in this society, we think that men and women are equal, that everything we do is equal and that there's no difference. But, there's, but clearly in the beginning, there is a difference. And before I go to scriptures about this, um, men and women are not equal, but they are equal in the sight of God when we um, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and, and we go to heaven. We are equal um, when, when, we, when we receive Christ. I remember there being a verse that says, um, we are, there is neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, but we are all equal in the sight of God. So then along those lines. Okay. So in the dream, for some reason, I was talking about um, men and women and how we have a, we have an, an inner animal inside of us. <laughs> but um, okay, I'll just I'll just read. So I said um, the inner animal for a man is a lion because a lion and a man they are um, leaders, they are leaders, they are protectors, and they are the giver. And then I said, um, the inner animal for a woman is a lioness, which is a female lion, because they are a helpmate, they are the supporter, and they are the receiver. And the inner animal for children are the cubs, which are baby, um, baby lions, because they bring joy and they are a blessing. So um, I will tell you guys um, the Bible verse that talks about the difference between a male and a woman. So, if we go to Genesis one twenty seven, Genesis one twenty seven, I read. Okay, so God created man in His own image. In the image of God created He him. So we see right now in scriptures, it says that God created man out of, out of His own image. God personally blew blew um, out of the dust on the earth to make Adam. He personally made made um, Adam out of his own image. God didn't create women out of his own out of his own image, but he did so with male. I explained it to you. God created man in his God created created man in his image. Now this is how God created female. If we go to Genesis 2 21 through 22 and it says and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. So we see right there that God created woman out of the creation of man. And I find this part really interesting when it says that, um, God took one. God took one of Adam's ribs because the ribs is close to the heart, and, and I feel like that is how women are to men. We are close to their hearts. Um, if you guys have seen a uh, married couple, you see that the male is very like you know rough and manly and very like uh, very like manly. Well, before now here, men are kind of sissies. But back then, you know, men were very like manly, and like women, they were very you know, like sweet and you know like nurturers and like you know loving. And so like when a man is more like rough and manly, the woman knows how to like um, make him you know um, to calm down, to be like, Are you see, don't be too, don't be too noisy now, <laughs> to be kind of like calm. So um, I believe that's why God took um, the ribs out of um, Adam's. Um, body because because it was close to his heart and if you still don't believe me that male and women are are um, not equal there's a verse in first corinthians 11 7 through 9 shall we go to first corinthians 
1 Corinthians 11, 7 through 9, and says, For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. But the woman is the glory of man, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman of the man. So, um, I want to look more into it, look more in depth upon this verse, um, verse seven, and it says, "For a man indeed ought to not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of of God, but the woman is the glory of man." Now. Okay, now when he says um, uh, the image and the glory of God, um, but the woman is the glory of man, um, I feel like when you know if a man loves his wife, if you see the way she looks, like um, if you see her looking all like messed up, hair falling out, you know, just looking like a slob, you know, you see that the man doesn't care for his wife because the wife doesn't look glorious. The wife doesn't look presentable. But if you see the wife and she looks all nice and you know you, you, you I mean, she looks you know very beautiful. She gets she has her hair all done and she has beautiful clothes. You know that man loves his wife, just like the story of um, Esther when the king was having a, was throwing a party and she and, and he wanted. The whole kingdom to see his wife um to see the queen but the queen um, didn't want to go out of course but um the reason and um, the king wanted wanted the whole kingdom to see his queen was to show the whole kingdom how beautiful she was he wanted to present his wife like look at my wife see how beautiful she is she has um golden attire she looks very beautiful she he wanted to show the kingdom how much he loved his wife by the way she looked so um yeah oh yeah and i said something about um this verse i said um man is the man is in the image of the creator and woman is the image of the creation now don't think as if um woman has a less um um, level compared to male we are all equal in the sight of God but there is order with God there is order first is God and then the man and then the woman and then the children there is order so um, yeah I believe that's all oh yeah and I also wanted to say one more thing as well with the, with that same order I kind of see it as um, God and then Jesus and then the Holy Spirit like God for me I feel like God um, kind of like um, equates to to male and Jesus equates to female and the children equates to the Holy Spirit because um, if we read the Bible we, um, we always see that Jesus always does things to please God because um, he, he always says um, I do this not for my will but for my but for my father's will but for my father's will in heaven I'm not saying that Jesus that Jesus is a female. I'm kind of um, equating the two, but but of course we know that um, the, um, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are are all one, and that's why I say um, male and female are are all one when it, when it comes to um, who makes it who makes it to happen. So that's my dream. Um, if anyone wants to say anything about it, please feel free to do so. All right. God bless you. Bye.